I have ordinance 3378-2018 and ordinance 3379-2018. We've been trying to get funding for the arts since the 80s. When Shannon came in as president, he made this a priority. Uh, he worked with his caucus and he delivered on a commitment to make Columbus competitive in the arts. I've been really proud that during my time as council president and with the amazing council team that we have, uh, that we were able to um, pass uh, the largest support of the arts uh, in our city's history. Um, for the first time, we are dedicating a re new revenue stream uh, for uh, arts, both for the capital support, but also as for uh, operational and programmatic support. We have two funds, the Creativity and the Stability Fund, but really there is an overarching theme that I want everybody in the arts community to understand from this council, that by passing these ordinances, we are hoping and, and expect that the great diversity and inclusion that we see in our community is, is expressed through the support uh, and usage of these grants. Well, I think growth, opportunity, uh, education, entertainment in all its form, and we will truly have diversity within diversity. We believe, uh, and it, it was in our intention, for Columbus to put a stake in the ground and say, the arts and culture in this community is important to us, not just to us now, but to us uh, in the future, and who we uh, see ourselves as, and who we know uh, that we want to be, a community that values each and every one of us, and who uh, believes that culture is just as important as, uh, uh, to a city as anything else. We have a saying at City Council that if it's not for all, it's not for us. Uh, and we needed to make sure that that also applied to the arts uh, here in Columbus. And we believe that through the work of this City Council with our community partners, that we will have an arts and culture scene that will be for all of Columbus. Please call the roll. Ms. Brown? Mr. Brown? Yes. Page? Yes. Remy? Yes. Stenziano? Yes. Tyson? Yes. President Hardin? Yes. Ordinances passes. Congratulations. Well, I just want to thank President Hardin and all of Council and all of Columbus for a job well done that was long overdue.